Mmm, this is so good. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Bit of classic claret. Why did you choose this Chateau Duarmion 2005 Poyet from Bordeaux? Well, the answer is obviously fairly simple. I like it. And unlike its big brother, Chateau Lafitte, it's affordable. It is. It's more affordable. So it's a very classic wine. What conventional people like <laughs> me would drink. <laughs> so I'm just going to be judging those chewy tannins. A lot of substance, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Lots of fruit, my, my still. Time. Lots of fruit. It's given me a lot of pleasure, this one. <laughs> so this is exactly the same wine, but two years older. I thought it was pretty logical that if you liked the 05 du Armillon, you'd be at least interested in the 03. It's a wine I really like. Poyac is wonderful and it's affordable. But Just about. I think people who like Bordeaux and are looking for really affordable wine should be looking for maybe a cru bourgeois, something just a little lower down the pecking order, which they're great value. And you can pick up something really nice, sort of for between 10 and 15 pounds a bottle. I like Bellevue with a nice. hyphen. I know you like Italian wine, I have yes. reason to believe. Yes. And this is a lovely property, San Leonardo. And we have to recover a glass. I'm just going to do that and, and make my 2004 blend. It just feels meal. like criminality to no, me, so no, I'm no, going no, to no. drink it. <laughs> so I have... Oh, that was good. Okay. <laughs> so let's see what we think of this um, genuine 04 from Northern Italy, from Trentino. You can see that Cabernet Cassis kind of thing, but it's, it's leafier, isn't it? It certainly, Less obviously it certainly right. smells a, very decidedly different. It's got that sort of Italian mm. bite at the end, hasn't it? Less sweet than that. It doesn't taste like um, claret, as it were. But don't you find Italian reds just make you want food? They, yeah. they are really made for the table, aren't they? Mm. So I've got something completely different here. A South Australian Riesling, dry Riesling. Um, and I know that some people run a mile and think that it's going to be sweet, but this is not. Made by Petaluma, got that sort of slight petroly thing, hasn't it? I never thought of it as being petroly, but I <laughs> sort of understand. But it absolutely is bone dry. Quite tingly, quite like lime marmalade on a slice of toast. It's certainly a wonderful contrast with the clarets. This, the, the Petaluma, dry Riesling would be about £18 a bottle in the UK. Supermarkets and things sometimes have their own label version of it, which would be more like 10 I would just like more people to realise that Riesling is A, pronounced Riesling, not Riesling, mm -hmm. uh, and B, doesn't have to be sweet. It's very nice. I never thought it was pronounced Riesling. I think. Good. No, 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 quite right. Well, these are all wines that I would drink very, very happily. I was really quite impressed with the um, Italian Cabernet, and I've always loved Rieslings, but I don't know the Australian varieties. It's got a nice tang to it, but my tastes in wine are very Catholic and not very discriminating, but all very, very enjoyable. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.